I'm here today at our 38th Street Pilates Performing New York location, and I, we have just received our all-in-one portable mat from Idea Life uh, via Amazon. I am so excited. I now have three. One here at 38th Street, one in my New York City apartment, and one at our house in Jersey, so that I can practice and share some uh, inspiration with this portable mat. So I'm opening it, so excited. It does not take up any space at all. You guys will see for yourself. All right, here we go. So, styrofoam in here. This is it. It's not big at all. And of course, for those of you who know, it's my favorite color. It only came in one color, but it happens to be cool. Here we go, taking it out. I have to tell you, I, did, I probably took about a week. Very fast delivery. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to tip it over. Carefully. Take the other piece of styrofoam off. All right. Here we go. This is it. So I just want to show you how small this is, really. So it's got wheels on the end. So you can push it around. You don't have to pick it up. You can actually slide it around. La -di -da. And here is the latch on the side because I've already got two. I know how it works. So I'm going to open it up for you right now and we can see. So we've got the latch on the side. And now I'm going to open the top so you can see what's inside here. And here we go. We have the attachments. So it comes with two long black elastics, which I'll take off. It comes with two yellow ones. So this is a lighter weight. And then we have two short red ones. So they're three different lengths and I believe three different tensions. Then we have the brackets. These two little black knobs, which are going to be important. Then I have one kind of like a rowing handle, and then we have two of these handles and the booklet with instructions. But honestly, it's so simple that you hardly need the instructions. So now, what I'm going to do is we have to attach the uh, brackets. I'm going to turn this over. It opens up, there's a hinge, just like that. Okay. I'll start with them on here. So it's, the cushion is pretty nice and cushy here. Here are the two brackets, plastic, still encased on them. Now, these brackets, I'm going to set them up a particular way so that you can see that they go like this. They can be adjusted like this, like this, and like this. So you have different choices of directions to move them. I'm going to keep it like this because I'll show you. Then you just simply screw these into the sides. Look how easy that is. Like seriously, I can't even tell you how easy this is. Screw in so perfectly, nice and solid. So you can use this to do planks on it, but the way I am using it as a Pilates teacher is these cuffs, which are designed to put on your wrists or your ankles or your feet, well, I'm kind of using them instead to latch the elastics onto. So I'm just putting it on like this. So here's the cuff. Okay, that's one. Here's the other one. So 
once you have the cuffs on, switch it around the other direction so it's the same. Once I place the cuffs on, I'm now going to attach the elastic loop here. For example, I'll use this one here. And then you can attach the handles. What's nice about these elastics is too, you don't have to actually use the handle at the end. You can just grip it anywhere along the line. Unlike um, the TheraBands, these cords they're comfortable in your hands, so you can attach them and just hang on to it like that. So uh, it does not come with loops. That's the only thing that does not come with. And so therefore, um, I would suggest looking around for a pair of canvas loops with a D-ring on the end that you can use for foot loops. So it's that simple, guys, to set it up. It comes with these different, this is a little bit lighter tension. This is a little heavier and shorter. As I said, it does come with like a rowing handle D-ring here. And then we have the two handles here to use for, for hands, which is fantastic. And then um, I will suggest that you're going to have to look around for some canvas loops um, that have D-rings on the end so you can use those. All right, so stay tuned now for a session. But guys, that was it. That's how easy this is. And then to put it away, you simply, this actually, you rotate it and it will stand up. So why don't I just quickly show you how that can work so you can see how that stands. So if I unscrew this, this very quickly, you can just rotate it like this. So you could just fold it in half, put it under your bed, no problem, put everything back in. But you can also just turn these knobs around in the opposite direction. And now they become feet to stand on. So I'm just going to quickly try and do this. And then you can actually just stick it in the corner of your room if you have room for that. All right, so now I'm just going to take these off so you see. And now to have you stand it up, you simply Pull the handle that's in the middle, bingo, stands up, and now you just attach that latch on the side to close it, and now it stands up. How easy is that? So, either under your bed, or put the handles away, or just leave the handles there and stick it in the corner of your room. All right, guys, so that's the introduction to the idea portable gym, but I actually just call it the ideal idea portable mat and I look forward to teaching you on it. Okay, take care. See you soon.